Creating a More Sustainable Planet. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 426. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing in people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to create sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our May 23rd, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today I want to talk about creating a more sustainable planet. Because creating a more sustainable planet is possible if enough people want to. And so one community is contributing to that by creating everything that you see happening in the background of the video here. Not just creating it, but open source and free sharing it and designing it to build all in one place so that people can come and experience all of these villages in one place, in one location, experience the different sustainability methods, and more importantly than that, most important, really, is to experience the lifestyle, the lifestyle that we think that most people consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Better because it provides more free time to do the things that, that people want to do, because it provides more access to the things that people want access to, because it provides higher quality food, uh, because it provides everything within walking distance, and it provides everything without the need for financial exchange between residents. A place where everybody's needs are met in one location, better than they're met normally anywhere else, and everything's within walking distance. And so we've broken this up, all this, this comprehensive sustainability model, we've broken it up into several different major components that we consider to be foundations of one community. And all these put together are our method, our, our process, our path to creating a more sustainable planet through what I've described many times in videos prior to this one as selfish humanitarianism or selfish philanthropy. Selfish because it's designed with the highest good of all and that includes the individual and to create this way of life that most people consider to be better and in so doing, simultaneously creating a way of living that is regenerative for our planet, that builds ecosystems, that sustains biodiversity that supports local cultures and diversity and really simultaneously addresses the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come all at once by providing what people need in such a way that they have the time and the energy to give back if they want to. And our organization is focused on that. So the components that we've divided all this up into and the, that we consider to be foundational for creating a more sustainable planet are the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. And you can see pictures of all this stuff happening in the background of the video. And then also the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we have identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship. Or putting all of this together into one comprehensive model that will provide a way of living that we feel that most people consider to be far superior to the way they're living right now. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it all to make it easy enough and affordable enough so it's easy for people to implement. And when people come and experience what it is that we're creating, by building the physical example of one community, inviting the public to come and experience this, and open sourcing and free sharing every aspect of it so that people can download the plans right there on the site as they're looking at a building. So that people can download the information about something that they might see growing on the property or a lesson plan that they might see taking place in the educational, uh, in the ultimate classroom, in the educational model. All this stuff that's accessible on the spot to demonstrate is affordable enough, attractive and attractive enough so that the idea can spread on its own. This is, I, this is one community's idea of creating a more sustainable planet and how we're putting everything together in one place so that people can experience it. This idea came from the thought that, you know, most people go on vacation to have a certain experience. That experience is to be able to have lots of time to do the things that they want to do and have all these different recreational activities 
to be able to participate in, probably to spend time with their friends and their family. And uh, the idea of like a very popular destinations are cruise ships and like club med type of destinations where you can go and have everything that you want right there at your fingertips. And you just walk out your door and it's like there's 101 different things to do. It's all included in your in your vacation experience. You know, there's high quality food that's being prepared at set meal time. So you just show up and sit down and eat. You know, and there's all these different activities to fulfill your for, to fill your day with and fulfill your experience with. One community is creating that as a lifestyle. That's what we want to demonstrate is that through radical sustainability, we can so drastically reduce the cost of living. And through cooperative and collaborative living, we can create a model. And we have a social architecture model that goes into the specifics of how we're going to do this. A model that provides 101 activities, 200 activities, for people to do all the time, always available, constantly available, and none of those cost anything to participate in because they're all part of the structure that is one community. And one of the biggest questions on that note that we're interested in answering is like when you have all the time that you want to be able to do things and nothing costs anything to do and it's all within walking distance, you removed all the barriers to participation, how will people choose to spend their time? What will be the things that rise to the top as the activities that most people are participating in, uh, that, that are, people are participating in so much that they have that, that, that they stick around, you know, that they become the activities that, that are most popular and are permanent parts of one community. You know, is it book clubs? Is it music clubs? Is it soccer game, basketball game, football game, some sort of exercise, you know, nature walks? Is it time playtime with kids? Is it uh, debate? Is it, you know, sitting around and watch like a movie club or something like that? You know, is it a writer's club? Is it, what is it? You know, it could be anything that people want to do. And so our social architecture is designed around creating that. And of course, the next question is like, well, wait a minute, if everybody's doing whatever they want, how does anything get done? Well, that's built into the structure as well. And because everything is handled cooperatively and collaboratively, that's how people have more time than they would have in other and in, in most traditional work models. And with one community, you know, we're built on a 40 hour collaborative work week that includes all the social architecture. And it also includes the uh, open source design and sharing. So we're focusing our intent on creating a world that works for everybody and how to open source and free share everything and really creating positive change. But when you run the numbers on this kind of stuff and you bring 50 people together working together, you know, a model like what we're creating could be run with people contributing as little as 10 or 15 hours a week to the work and maintenance and operational costs of maintaining something like one community and the rest of the time there could be spent on personal enrichment, you know, personal growth, whatever, self-development, whatever it is that people enjoy doing. In one community's case, we're bringing together people that really enjoy the process of creating world change. And so our all-volunteer, you know, nonprofit group has said, hey, this is something we want to do. We like creating change, so let's build that into our model and basically create 20 hours that require to maintain it all and this huge outreach process and, and you know welcoming and hosting people at one community and let's put the other 20 hours of everybody's contribution into the social architecture and into the open source sharing and resource uh, creation process so that more and more people around the world can replicate what it is that we're creating. This is our idea for creating a more sustainable planet. You know, it's a piece of our idea that's so much bigger than what I've just described. I mean, we have hundreds of pages on our website to go into all the details of how we're doing this, but this is our idea for creating a more sustainable planet. Take the physical foundations of sustainability, food, energy, housing, combine them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approach to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. Put those together and open source and free share them and invite the world to participate to demonstrate a model that is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on its own and let human ingenuity and creativity do the rest because it'll provide a way of living that most people would consider to be better than the way of living right now, sharing it with the world so that people are interested and then can take everything that we're creating and replicate it around the world and then work in cooperation and collaboration with those groups, those organizations to create more and more resources, more and more options, more and more demonstrations of what's possible so that there's something there for everybody, all in our case, in the name of the highest good of all people in life on this planet, so we can create a sustainable world within our lifetime and address the challenges that our generation and our children and our grandchildren's generations will be facing if we don't take action right now. And so we are taking action right now. And that 
is our idea for creating a more sustainable planet that will benefit everyone. So, like this kind of thing, you're interested in what it is that we're doing, you want to learn more, visit our website, stick around for a couple more minutes and check out the details, uh, some specifics, bullet points on each of the major components of our project. And um, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.